so 50 Cent honors takeoff during a concert and also gives Quavo advice on posthumous music. Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. 50 Cent has paid tribute to Takeoff following the rapper's tragic death while offering words of advice to his Migos brethren, Quavo. During a concert in Finland on Tuesday night, November 1st, the G-Unit rapper honored Takeoff, who was shot and killed in Houston, Texas earlier that day. Much like he did during a show in Sweden following Coolio's passing in September, 50 Cent saluted the late Migos lyricist by projecting his image on the stage as the group's bad and bougie hit rang out through the venue speakers. <laughs> I paid tribute to take off last night in Finland, it was lit. GLG, Greenlight Gang, tour let's get it. 50 Cent also turned his attention to Takeoff's rhyme partner and uncle Quavo on Wednesday, offering him some words of advice on how to keep his nephew's legacy alive. The power mogul shared a clip of Pop Smoke's former manager, Steven Victor, recalling a conversation with 50 following the Brooklyn rapper's February 2020 murder, in which 50 urged him to put his grief aside and complete Pop's posthumous album, Shoot for the Stars, Aim for the Moon. Because what happened is after he passed away, you know, 50 kept on reaching, because I had bought him to see 50 because he was living so crazy. I was like, bro, you know, you got to chill. He was on some like, nah, this is me. You're not going to, you're not. Because he always looked at it like I would tell him something and he'd be like, you don't live in my world, so you can't really. And I'd be like, I don't need to live in your world. Like, I know, you know what I'm saying? So my thought was like, he's a huge fan of 50 and 50 like an artist that's always been consistently who he is. I'm gonna get fifth to speak to him. So, you know, it was maybe it was like three. His that meeting with fifth was maybe like three weeks before he passed. So when he passed, fifty kept trying to get in touch with me. You know what I'm saying? So I finally went to go see him, cause you know I couldn't listen to his music. I was like, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, you can't let your emotions or you being like in this depressed state. I guess he could tell I was like, um, stop you from executing what you guys what plans you guys had. Cause you got, three weeks ago, you guys were in my office talking about taking, over the, taking over the world. I was like, now, you know, he passed away, but who's gonna keep his legacy going? Who's gonna make sure his music comes out so that he could take care of his family? Like, he was like, that's on you, you can't. He was like, I get you, you're sad and all this shit, but this ain't the time for that. He was like, you gotta like, cause we had talked to Fifth about putting his album out in the summertime. He was like, nah, you gotta finish that. You gotta, you gotta see this through. You gotta see this through. And he's like, and if you need my help, like I'll promote it, whatever you need um, from my side, like I'll help you. He's like, but you can't, he was like, nah, bro. <laughs> he's like, you can't be selfish. In his Instagram caption, 50 encouraged Quavo to follow the same advice he gave Steven Victor when it comes to Takeoff's posthumous music. This is really how it goes. You have to position this album correctly for Takeoff's legacy. Go make a couple changes and address everything. All artists make the best music out of painful moments. RIP to Pop Smoke, RIP to Takeoff. 50 Cent previously reacted to Takeoff's death by reposting a heartfelt message from Pierre P. Thomas, the CEO of Amigos label Quality Control Music, along with some words of his own. I'm sorry for your loss. I read your post and thought it would have took me three hours to write that I can imagine all kind of confusion going on. Hold your head, man, bro. RIP Takeoff. 50 is just one of many famous names who have mourned Takeoff's death, with Drake, Beyonce, Future, Travis Scott, 21 Savage, T.I., Gucci Mane, Rick Ross, and others also paying their respects to the slain rapper on social media. Fellow Migo star Offset quietly changed his Instagram avatar to a photo of Takeoff, although Quavo, who was with Takeoff at the time of the shooting, has yet to address the tragedy. According to the autopsy report, the 28-year-old rapper, died of penetrating gunshot wounds of head and torso into arm. Quality Control believes they were straight bullets. But what do you think about 50 Cent's advice to Quavo about making posthumous music? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.